watching an episode of uh, You where measles came up. Wait, wait, wait. When did I mention measles? I don't know. It was on You. What? 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 <laughs> What was on me? What are you talking about? Ray, what is Ray the measles hearing what I'm the saying? I never had the measles. Was on you. We never did a. <laughs> We never did a measles and vaccine episode. Am I, is this a joke? I, know. I don't even know it what you're talking about. It was on you. It was on you. I've never had, Raymond, I've never had measles. What are you talking about? This is stupid. It was an episode of a show, Laura. What's it called? You, what is you, about? it's called you. I've never done a show on measles. I, I just completely give up. We gotta get it's out of It's a show I, I give up. called you on Netflix. There's a show called Loring on Netflix. What are you Never talking mind. about? I'm moving on to Adele. I can't explain this to What's you. The pop about? singer. Those of us in the media keeping tabs on Fox News typically suffer through hours of draining, depressing, and frightening takes. But sometimes the universe decides to smile on us instead. The good news is that although Laura Ingram and Fox News are at the center of the latest viral clip, it actually doesn't involve any white supremacist or anti-vax rhetoric. Just a good old-fashioned case of who's on first. I'm Caroline Johnson. Thanks for watching. So as you can see, a clip from the Ingram angle went viral after a who's on first style mix-up regarding the Netflix show You. Ingram and Raymond Arroyo were discussing the public appetite for what they call, quote, woke TV. As an example, Arroyo brought up an episode of Netflix's show You, where measles were part of the story. Arroyo says, quote, I was watching an episode of You when measles came up, which, as you saw, ignited a total descent into madness. Ingram continued to fail to understand that there is a show on Netflix called called You, and that Arroyo was not referring to her show on Netflix. The back and forth was more like a sketch comedy show than an episode of a major primetime show on cable. Ironically, all of this came after lambasting the chaos inside the White House in Biden's administration, foreshadowing the real chaos that soon broke out on the talk show. The pair could not communicate clearly enough with one another to get to the bottom of the miscommunication. Quote, America is truly in danger, Ingram said earlier, under a president who is physically and mentally deteriorating before our eyes. Real chaos is unfolding. Yes, it is. Just maybe not in the way you meant. The contributor actually tweeted later that this was scripted, which might be true, or an attempt to gloss over the fact that he could not get his point across to the anchor that he was simply referencing a TV show called You. Or he's embarrassed that he is now known outside the right-wing Ingram Fox circle as the grown man who watches teen soap romances to make fun of their woke tendencies. Not that there's anything wrong with watching you, of course. As for Ingram, I'm skeptical that she has a humorous bone in her body, but I am sure she has an oversized opinion of herself and her show. The star of you, Penn Badgley, also thinks it was scripted, tweeting, definitely a bit. His delivery is great, though. What do you think? Does Ingram have comedy chops that have been missing from her decades-long TV career? Or is she that self-absorbed that any reference to a v TV show must be hers? Let me know in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. You can follow me on all platforms platforms at Caro Johnson 917.